In this video, I will show you how to calculate the current through an LED if you have a circuit with a resistor of known value. This is different than starting with a desired value for the current and then doing the calculations to choose the proper resistor. To see that version of the problem, check out the previous video in this playlist linked in the description of this one. In that video, we started with a desired current of 40 milliamps for the LED with a known battery voltage of nine volts and a forward voltage drop over the LED of two volts. And we then solved for the required resistor value to make that current happen, which was 175 ohms. But there were two problems with this. One, the power dissipated by that resistor exceeded the one quarter watt power rating that is common for most resistors. And two, resistors are only available in discrete values. And while you can combine resistors in series or parallel to make different values, we just wanna keep our circuit simple and use a single resistor. And let's say the resistor kit we have on hand doesn't have a resistor of exactly 175 ohms available. The next largest value is 220 ohms. So what we are going to do in this video is say that our new value for this resistor is 220 ohms, which means we no longer know the current, so we need to do the calculations to find the new current through the LED with a 220 ohm resistor. The process we will use to do that is similar to what we did in the previous video. We will apply Ohm's law, voltage equals current times resistance, to the resistor. Since the resistor is in series with the LED, we know the current through them must be the same. It's important to remember that Ohm's law does not apply to LEDs. LEDs have a nonlinear relationship between voltage and current. You can watch the previous video for an explanation of that. Now let's walk through the problem. Applying Ohm's law to the resistor, voltage equals current times resistance. We know the resistor value. We need to figure out the voltage drop over the resistor, and then we need to rearrange this equation to solve for the current because this time that is our unknown. So rearranging Ohm's law to solve for current gives I equals V over R. Again, we know the resistor value. We need to figure out the voltage drop over the resistor. That voltage drop is going to be the voltage at this point minus the voltage at this point. Remember that voltage is always measured between two points and in a circuit with a single battery, our reference point is usually the negative terminal of the battery, which is what we will call our common or ground or reference voltage. So that is our zero volts. Up here, then we have the battery voltage. And here we have the voltage drop over the LED. The voltage drop over the resistor is therefore the battery voltage minus the LED voltage. We know all of these values, so it's just a matter of plugging them in to solve for the current. We have current equals nine volts minus two volts over 220 ohms. And if you punch that into a calculator, you will get 0 0.0318 amps or 31.8 milliamps. Whoops, milliamps. So that might be okay, depending on your application with the original problem. Our target current for the LED was 40 milliamps since that was its rated value and that would give it its full brightness. So you would need to test this and see if the LED is actually noticeably dimmer and if that's a problem for what you're doing or if you would be okay with this lower current of 31.8 milliamps. We're not quite done yet though. You still need to double check the power rating for the resistor to make sure you are not exceeding that power rating and going to burn it out. We do that using the equation P equals I squared R. So if we plug in the values we have, we have the current 0 0.0318 amps squared times 220 ohms. And that gives us a value of 0 0.222 watts or 222 milliwatts, which in this case is less than 250 milliwatts, which again is the current limit for a one quarter watt resistor. So in this case, we are okay. The resistor power rating is below the rated value. We're not going to burn out the resistor. The question is that we also have the current for the LED below the rating of 40 milliamps. So if that's gonna make the LED too dim, then we would need to do some further circuit design to get back to that optimal current. 
while maintaining the resistor below its power rating. And we'll talk some more about that in the future videos in this series, which again, you can find linked in the description of this one.